Captain's log, final entry. Spock and I are the sole survivors. Enterprise, are you there? Good morning, Wendy. Good morning, Scotty. Can we go over your everyday schedule? Wake up, make bed, go to work. Stop. I'm not allowed to cross Market Street under any circumstances. Welcome to Cinnabon. Would you like a Cinnabon? Study. Take Pete for a walk. When you see the man with the legs, you can walk. Watch Star Trek on TV land before I go to bed. Next week, your sister is coming. There's a Star Trek script writing contest. Today is the last day to send it in. So we can go to the post office, and then I can go home with you, and I can help you take care of Ruby. Please stop. Scotty, can you please tell Audrey that I'm ready to go home now? Please stand by. <gasps> Breathe. Your completed script must be received by February 16th. Buses go to Los Angeles. I've got a ticket. Can I have it? Bus driver, my friend needs to pee. Don't do it, Pete! This is what happens when you pee on the bus. She's 21 years old. That's her. Hey! She's out there, alone, somewhere between here and Los Angeles. She's a very resourceful girl. Welcome to Cinema. Would you like a cinema? She jumped out the window! I wish my grandson could meet you. Why don't you live with him? People have their own lives. And after a while, those don't include you. Good job. There's a side of myself that I want you to see. <gasps> Captain, there's only one logical direction in which to go. Forward. What was Leonard McCoy's daughter's name? Joanna. Oh, snap, chaos! Cadet Hall, yet Cadet Hall? What was that? Klingon. Maybe I underestimated her. Don't be afraid, Jim. The unknown is there for us to conquer, not to fear.